Fine, how are you? Hi, Mehdi, thank you. Yeah, very good, how are you? Good, good, really good. People are really enjoying the content and I'm sure they will continue to do with your session. I invite you to share your screen. Great, yeah, it was a great introduction uh, that Chris made. Uh, they sh he showed that uh, Revolut is actually best performing, so he makes it easy for me to, to go through this talk. That's my role as program chair to make a, st a compelling story for all the speakers. So let's go for let's go with you, right? Great, thank you. So I was only four years old when uh, Microsoft founder Bill Gates made a statement. He said, uh, banking is necessary, but banks are not. And the question is, what did he mean by this? And, and secondly, was he right? So every day we make decisions on where we spend our money and where we spend our time. Uh, and banking can be defined, uh, from my perspective, as um, the activity of managing that money. So in the 90s, physical banks with physical ATMs and personal bankers uh, used to be the interface we would use to do exactly that managing money. Uh, but now, uh, the interface I use nowadays is a, a simple smartphone app. It's called Revolut. And this app has been built by smart developers using application programming interfaces or APIs to communicate with other applications. And it's, it's truly one application that manages all things uh, with more functionality uh, that allows me to easily manage the, those finances every day. And um, as Chris showed earlier as well uh, before, if, if I have open banking enabled, which is one of the features in, in Revolut, uh, I have full visibility of my, over my spending. So I can connect all my UK bank accounts into, into one app and can instantly see uh, what, what is on it. And uh, I can make a payment in one click to, to top up my accounts. So that shows, I think, how open banking and APIs are helping to remove the borders that traditional banks uh, might have set up. And these borders, I believe, uh, will only fade further as new technology uh, enables new applications every day. So it's exactly now that I think that third party developers or hopefully the, the listeners to this talk can start building beyond what Revolut engineers themselves are building already now. So we're kind of open for business uh, and, and looking at this also more from a commercial point of view as, as Chris, Chris mentioned before. So. I am uh, Stein, uh, I'm a lead product owner at Revolut. And before I joined Revolut, I had my own FinTech startup. And as a founder and CTO of a technology company, I experienced firsthand how it, how it is important that you have access to APIs and how powerful APIs can be. So my company used technology to provide loans to small businesses. And one of the major frustrations that we had was the, that we would never be able to easily get access to customer data and uh, transaction data to assess the risk of this, uh, of our clients. And now when working for Revolut, I'm extremely excited that I can contribute from within Revolut uh, to building APIs that enable other companies to build on top of. So I'm standing here on my own behalf. So my views might not represent always what Revolut represents as a whole. So just as a small disclaimer. So the question is why, why do we build uh, an API platform on top, apart from the compliance requirements, of course. So there are a few uh, very successful API platforms out there that work with a few very simple mechanisms. So the main point is that the more customers you have, the more problems there are to solve through APIs. And a good API platform will provide developers the tools to solve those problems. And therefore, if you have a good developer platform, the more developers you will get that will build useful applications that then in turn will probably lead to more uh, customers as the adoption grows. So um, this, this is a circle and you see how this, this goes around. And uh, in this presentation, I want to take you through those things. So I'll start first with giving some background on what's Revolut and what do we do? Um, and, and secondly, take you through some stories on what problems we're solving for business customers and uh, using APIs. Uh, how we are expanding our API program to help third party developers deliver more value for customers and how we are supporting third party developers and partners uh, to, uh, to work with us and how they can benefit if they do so. So at Revolut, we're building the first, the world's first truly global financial super app. So in 2015, uh, we started with uh, in the UK with a UK money transfer and exchange platform. But Revolut wouldn't be called Revolut if we would have stopped there. So today, our customers around the world make dozens of uh, 
use of the Revolut's dozens of innovative products and make more than 100 million transactions a month. So we help our customers improve their financial health and give them more control uh, and connect with people seamlessly across the world. So on our mission to become global, we are currently having a presence in 35 countries. So with the UK as our base, we are rolling out most of our features first in the UK and then deliver them across the world in other jurisdictions very soon after. So stay tuned until we are fully, fully global. So some key indicators of, of Revolut's success are demonstrated, I think, in the fact that we grow very fast. So as of today, we're serving 13 million personal users. We're serving over half a million business users and we're growing th that number with the thousands a day. Um, so the recent investments that we also got at a $5.5 billion valuation, uh, investors have paved the way and provided us an opportunity to make that expansion a true reality. So next to our personal offering, as I mentioned, we also offer business accounts, so borderless business and merchant accounts, giving businesses the ultimate control over their finances. And as a business, you can control your payments, company cards, expenses, uh, and all from one place. So you can pay abroad like a local with no hidden fees. And the topic of today is on the fact that Revolut Business provides a new marketplace and APIs to build great applications uh, to either automate your own business or build applications that third parties can use. So what, what value uh, do we provide uh, to our customers? So what value do APIs provide to our customers? So for simplicity reasons, I'm just going to focus first on, on business customers and um, how our API platform shapes the way for customers to get value from Revolut, be it, as I said, either directly or by building applications that third parties can use. So each business is unique and our APIs, I think, provide exactly that, that flexibility that each business needs to run their, their business in a very optimal way. So the first uh, thing I wanted to introduce you is, is one of our customers, it's, it's Alan. And uh, they were one of our, the early adopters of our, our business API. Alan provides a complementary health insurance in an industry that's already pretty complex. And uh, they help businesses by providing friction, frictionless healthcare uh, to their companies and, and their employees. And that means that they want to pay out customers as soon as an insurance claim is done. And in order to pay out so fast, they use Revolut business APIs to instantly pay out their customers. So the Revolut B2B business API is there to automate your payments and deliver the fastest payments to customers. But aside from making payments, our business API endpoints also provide uh, automatically the possibility to exchange money uh, or look into what, what's going on into your bank accounts. And that means that we give the, our customers full control um, over their business accounts while removing the manual effort to make payments and, and do the reconciliation. So that's one of the major benefits for customers like Alan to use our business API. Another example of a customer is Sublime Yards. Sublime Yards is a bespoke charter company uh, building ships that um, matches clients with uh, perfect yards from, from, for their taste in any, in any destination around the world. And yards are part of a global industry and therefore they're advertised in, in multiple currencies. So uh, that means that Sublime Yards needs to be adaptable um, and change currency with, with ease. So managing their accounts in multiple currencies and reconciling bank transactions is a key uh, priority for, for, for Sublime Yards. Uh, so what, what, what has happened with and what open banking and our APIs have enabled is that Clearbooks, their accounting software, is now connected with Revolut Business through the open banking API. I think just how Chris showed it in the earlier topic, how easy it is to connect through these open banking uh, applications. So as a result, they now state that they spend half the time on invoicing, invoices and accounting just because this uh, integration is now live. So Sublime Yard's problem was solved by Clearbooks and accounting software by integrating with our open banking API. But we believe that synchronizing account information uh, into accounting is just the beginning of how APIs can add value. So every industry has problems that can be solved through, through these APIs. And basically that is the main reason uh, why we've introduced our marketplace. So you can think about uh, different, different use cases like lending, uh, CRM, expense management, payroll and, and job platforms to, um, to automate things in, in these industries as well. So our marketplace is basically making it beneficial for developers to build functionality on our API. And right now already we make it possible to generate 
draft payments directly in Revolut business from your accounting softwares to synchronize your expenses both in, in Revolut business and your third party app to make payments for, for example, payroll instantly and uh, to have webhooks to automatically be notified in case anything changes in your customer in the customer's account. So what API at uh, platform do we exactly offer and what is the difference between standard open banking endpoints uh, and what value do we provide with our, with our APIs? So Revolut is slowly becoming uh, a super app, as I, I told you before. And uh, by itself, we are extending uh, the APIs, such as account information, the AISPs, and the payment initiation for PISPs to enable all these before mentioned use cases. So a short history on, on what's happened within Revolut with these APIs. So in 2018, we already made it possible to connect to, for example, free agents, Slack, uh, Zapier, and, and Xero. So, but as of 2019, the Open Banking API was introduced uh, to onboard many more partners and provide much more value for our customers. And as you can see in this graph, we see an accelerating adoption of these APIs and many more partners interested in doing much more with our APIs, not just keep it with the standard account synchronizations. So as was introduced by Chris there, the, the uh, government has done a tremendous effort putting to, together the right stakeholders to set out the plan and implement the payment service directory too. And the, the aim is to foster innovation. And banks worked tremendously well, I think, with the industry to work out a great open banking standard. And it's a great leap forward to, um, to get a unified way of accessing open banking APIs. But there's still a few problems with, with open banking endpoints. And uh, the first one is regulation can be complex, complex to understand, and it can also be cumbersome to obtain a license. And second, the standards need to be uh, discussed with, with all stakeholders and therefore develop pretty slow and don't always include already the novel functionalities that fintech like Revolut actually offers. Most importantly, in my opinion, the API documentation is not always easy to understand because it's really uh, built from the point of view of regulation and then made as easy as possible to use. But at Revolut, we really put forward significant effort to make these APIs super easy to use, both for the developers and customers. So for our customers, for example, uh, it only takes Eight, eight seconds, 8.05 seconds to complete an account information sharing flow. So this was done by, by one of the peer researchers built uh, from forming Mars. And on the other hand, we also have the developer benchmarks that were also mentioned earlier in the talk. Um, the Yapoli score shows how, how fast the uh, Revolut uh, APIs are. So not only in terms of functionality, but also in terms of performance, we want it to lead. Uh, so the Yapoli score is calculated by evaluating uh, availability, response time, uh, the response sizes, uh, et cetera. So one of our customers also put it, so one of our TPPs put it, what we get at Revolut is best of its class, so best of the ASPSPs. So let's go through a couple of uh, functionalities that and how they, how they are implemented in, in Revolut. So when a third party app requests the uh, access to the customer data, so the account data, we enabled all of our customers to granularly, with a few clicks, uh, select which account they want to give access to. Another endpoint is the payment initiation endpoint. So we do not only support uh, standard payments for payments, but we really uh, support international payments and local payments. It's possible to schedule payments um, and uh, set up standing orders uh, or perform bulk payments. So bulk payments, you could think about the use case that there's a payroll software that wants to have um, their customers to schedule all their salary payments with the click of a button. Our bulk payments uh, payment initiation tool makes that happen. So the question is then, do you need to be regulated for, for all APIs that we offer? And uh, I showed you two of the, the open banking endpoints. And I think it's important to stress that it's not always about whether you're accessing an API or what you're doing with an API, whether you should be regulated or not. But the regulation prescribes uh, mainly around what services are you providing and is that service regulated? So for many of our newer APIs, it's not necessarily, uh, there's not necessarily a license, licensing obligation. Uh, so of course, always make sure that you take your, uh, make sure you get your own legal advice and make sure that your activities are compliant uh, with the local rules and regulation. Uh, but be aware that it's not always required to be regulated. 
So one of the newer endpoints that we introduced, uh, our latest one, is our draft payment endpoint. And previously, customers would have to uh, export CSV files if they wanted to uh, make a payment in bulk from, for example, their payroll software and upload it into their online banking portal. And our draft payments uh, endpoint now allows any software to set up a bulk payment file directly from that app in Revolut Business with zero effort. So how that works is that the third party can ask for permissions to create a draft payment in Revolut Business, and the customer uh, will then be able to uh, use the multi-user functionality in Revolut Business to set up specifically who can access uh, set up these payments and who is authorized to actually execute the payments. And this allows customers to make payments with the click of a button, reducing all the friction while staying maximum in control. So it's really a, a cool new API, and we really invite people to, to check, it, check it out and reach out to us if you want to learn more. But there's more things we're building. So one of the things is uh, single sign-on. So we believe that it's very important that uh, this uh, identity that was uh, talked about before is something that we can uh, make a reality as well. So we'll make it possible for our customers to, to reuse the identity and uh, compliance uh, capabilities from Revolut in their application. Another thing that we're launching will be uh, the, the Revolut Invoices API to instantly from a third party app, set up uh, invoices and uh, issue them, for example, directly from a CRM software. So should you decide to build applications with us, we will be there to support you along the way. So we'll help you build it. Uh, you can review your application in a sandbox environment. We help you launch it. You can become a partner with us and we can publish your application on our marketplace to give you visibility to uh, thousands of businesses. And that will help you grow uh, your application as well. So that's very easy to get started. So what you can do is you can sign up on our developer portal to uh, receive all the certificates uh, that you need and start testing in this sandbox environment. So you create an application and you get those certificates directly uh, from the uh, developer portal and uh, it helps you basically build the Revolut uh, functionality in your app. So directly from the portal, you can then ask to publish your application and make sure that you're launched in our marketplace. So the best thing about the API is that you can really get started with a few lines of code and you don't need uh, a lot of engineering effort for that. So, uh, the code example on the right, for the sharp engineers, uh, you can even uh, reduce that type of code with 30% if you would uh, do a good job. But we are uh, doing our efforts every day to make it even easier for you to get started with APIs. So I hope that that gave a bit of clarity on what APIs we provide uh, and what type of use cases they enable. But what benefit does it have for you uh, and your organization if you would decide to partner with us? So we have a very strong partnership and develop, developer relationship team to help developers become successful with our APIs. So that shows in the adoption of the APIs and that it has been accelerating so rapidly. And we already have seen that one in three business customers is currently using the application actively. And there are three main reasons why partners choose to work with us. So the first, you can grow your brand and your business. So with access to a global customer base, you can cut down on advertising costs while gaining custom customers faster and earn regular income on our marketplace. Second, you can power up your application. You can keep your customers engaged for longer by, by leveraging our financial features to strengthen your own services. We will provide our customers with functionality embedded from Revolut and you can embed Revolut in yours. And third, as I mentioned before, it's easy to get started. So we provide easy guides to get started and a technical support team is always there to help you. So we offer multiple partnership tiers uh, to help you become even more successful. So in order uh, to get more customers using your app, we only ask you that you maintain a healthy integration. And this will help drive up more users and will allow you to access more benefits in our partnership program. So that's the value for third-party developers. And what's next? Uh, was Bill Gates right? Do we not need banks anymore? So from my perspective, I think the statement itself was made in a completely different time. 
the concept of banking has become much bigger than it was. And we are moving to a more embedded experience in which managing your money is an embedded experience in all that you do in many applications. So Revolut is all about providing the best user experience. And the big challenge for us is making that user experience right. So we're working closely with our partners to make sure we get the right user experience when people use our APIs. And we're working on some very exciting projects and we do invite partners to come and check out our APIs or speak with us directly to help shape the world of that embedded finance. A few key examples of what we're working on are these three. So it's never been easier to interact with us as the, with, with your application. Uh, as it's ac accessible and embedded directly from the Revolut business interface. So whenever you're launched on our marketplace, customers can use your functionality without even leaving the platform. Second, with our fully managed bill billing service, once you've built your application, you can just simply sit back and let us do the reporting uh, on monthly uh, signups due to commissions. And third, you can ensure your customers will never be more than a click away once you have your SSO enabled and you leverage our compliance capabilities to onboard them. So just to be, be clear, these are things we're still working on, but they're extremely exciting from my point of view. And we definitely invite all of our partners to, to come and reach out to learn more. So we have much more in store for you uh, and our partnerships team would be happy to talk you all through that. Uh, and we would love to do an introductory call. But this was a presentation that I wanted to do, but I'm more than happy to take any questions you have. And uh, thanks for your attention. Thank you, Stein. Thank you, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we, we, for a conference about embedded, uh, you know, from open to, to embedded uh, finance, I think Revolut uh, is one of the best examples. So thank you for the, showing all of this. Uh, one question, though, is about, uh, so it seems Revolut has been embedded into many other, uh, let's say, workflows you know, as you were show, showing at the beginning, and now Revolut wants to embed others to profit from their user base, right? So this is this is embedding in and embedding out. I don't know if that makes sense in English, but uh, yeah, this this is what we understand here. Yes, definitely. So what we see uh, about the embedded experience, so we're working out a way for third-party developers to make um, their experience really part of the Revolut application. And for us, uh, as I mentioned before, user experience is all. So we don't just want to uh, launch applications in our marketplace that will have some clunky U UX that brings you to a third party application and somehow synchronizes data, but you don't really know what's going on. So our marketplace is really aimed at, at providing that great interaction, which will also then drive engagement for the applications. Um, yeah, exactly. So it will be embedded, uh, your, embedding your functionality in Revolut, but also the other way around. So using uh, our core features in your application to execute payments, or for example, the invoices endpoint that we are launching soon, uh, it will be possible for you if you have a CRM to inst uh, initiate invoices directly from the CRM. You don't have to, to leave your software uh, to set up those, uh, those type of interactions. So it's really from both sides embedded, and that's really how we, we see the future, yes. It seems when you... Uh embed others and you are embedded into everybody else like you are you are hyper app right you're in super app for and it seems what that's revolut uh, where revolut is going like right? being the super application for for everything financial uh, financial financial and banking related definitely definitely that is our goal and uh that that's definitely where we see ourselves and it, it, it does go in that direction uh, every time I open my, uh, my my Revolut app, there's there's some new features that some other teams have added, and, and I'm very impressed with the speed that this is all going. Uh, very excited to uh, to see more things coming soon. Yeah, if you want to know more uh, attendees uh, about what Revolut is doing or what Stein is, has presented, you can reach them directly either on Developer Portal or directly uh, uh, on LinkedIn or whatever. Thank you very much, Stein. Thank you very much for uh, being there. And we talk about hyper apps and super applications, and this is exactly what Juan Miguel Guerra, our next speaker, will be talking about, about how to think banking in super apps, right? Uh, so Stein, I invite you to disconnect your screen and microphone. Thank you very much for having been with us.